<laughs> oh man, we got the shot drop today on the Jordan 4 Thunders. I told you guys, are the Jordan 1 lost and founds next? What's good, y'all, man? It is your boy, Sniper Cakes, and we got the shock drop today on the Jordan 4 Thunders. I had people in the comment section below like, hey, Sniper, that shock drop is not happening. You capping, you this, this, and that. But it happened today. We got the Jordan 4 Thunders on the shock drop, and it went live 23 Eastern Standard Time. And I knew it since yesterday. Here's the thing about the things that happen with shock drops. There's no such thing as a shock drop anymore because of the technology, because everybody knows they can look them through back end and see how many appearances go in and all those different things. There's no such thing as a shock drop. And again, I try to let you guys know what is going on. So make sure you have your notification bells on. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and smash that like button because I will help you guys cop shoes from retail and how to cop sneakers and all that good stuff. Give me the 411 on sneaker information. Show the shock drop on the Jordan 4 Thunder was a movie. Let me know in the comment section below if you copped the Jordan 4 Thunders because it was a shock drop. And guys, there was over 160,000 pairs on my YouTube live. I was giving everybody the stock numbers of the sizes that they were going for. Again, in my Discord, we have all those different technologies where you can actually see the stock numbers on every single release on the Nike sneakers app. And here's the thing, Nike had a curveball. Nike actually made people update their app right before the shock drop. They did a bug fix on their actual app. So you had to update it. That's why you need to have your notification bells on because I updated everybody. Make sure you update your app now before the shock drop. But like I said, Sniper never lies. We had the shock drop today of the Jordan 4 Thunders. And like I said, guys, it was a movie. A lot of people went in. There's a lot of different things. And I did see a lot of people cop, but some people did have problems. Some people weren't able to cop on their mobile device and had to switch to desktop to actually get in and actually get the pair. For me, I had to do Apple Pay because me just putting my credit card number in the three digits on the back, it didn't work for me. Because again, when everybody tries to go at once, then there's going to be problems. And that's why you have to be prepared for any instance. You saw what happened with the Jordan 1 Lost and Founds on release day. There was craziness. A lot of people weren't able to get in and all that good stuff. And the pending, guys, the pending on the Jordan 4 Thunders was insane. People were pending for like 30 minutes. Fortunately, I was able to get in and out through Apple Pay, but some people were pending for like 35 minutes. And this is the reasoning behind that. Number one, Nike tries to filter the bots. Everybody knows people bots on Nike sneakers app. And what Nike sneaker app try to do, they try to determine what is a real account and what is a bot account. And that's why they take forever, forever to pick winners and see that got them signed. Luckily, it only took me three minutes to get that got them signed, but it took some people 30 minutes to see that got them signed. So let me know in the comment section below how the pending was actually doing for yourself. Because for me, it wasn't too long, but when I went on live, a lot of people were pending for a very long time because everybody was trying to get the sneaker. And people were saying, there's no way there's 160,000 pairs, man. There was too many L's. Yes, you gotta think about it. There are so many people going after this shock drop. You gotta look at it from numbers wise. If 500,000 people are going for the shock drop, including bots, that might even be more, and there's only 160,000 pairs, everybody's not gonna get a W. But do not panic if you did not get a W on the shock drop. It's coming out May 13th. There will be another drop, and there will be a similar amount of pairs, maybe 200,000 pairs of the Jordan 4 Thunder. It's a release that has a lot of stock, and Jordan Brand was super smart. They had 160,000 pairs, 210 bucks each. They just made a boatload of money right there. They just made a boatload of money. So it makes sense why they did the shock drop today. And Nike Sneakers have, has been warning us, guys. They have been warning us. It's like, hey, if we drop the Jordan 4 Thunders next week, are you team early or are you gonna wait until the actual release? So again, Nike Sneakers is actually telling us what they're about to do. So that is crazy and guess what? The Jordan 1 Lost and Founds are coming soon. We got the Jordan 4 Thunders today, but I know a lot of you guys are waiting for the Jordan 1 Lost and Founds. So I'm gonna give you guys some information that I got today about the Jordan 1 Lost and Founds. So guys, make sure you have your notification bells on. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and smash that like button because again, 
I warned you guys about the shock drop yesterday on the Jordan 4 Thunders, and I'm going to tell you guys about these beautiful things right here, the Jordan 1 Lost and Founds. Such a nice shoe. And as you guys know, the sneakers app told us, like, hey, if we drop the Jordan 1 Lost and Founds next week, are you going to tell the group chat or are you going to zip it? And guess what? You already know. It's Sniper Kicks. I'm going to tell the group chat. So here's the thing. Nike sneakers app does have Jordan 1 lost and founds in the chamber, like I said, for months. But now, from what I'm hearing, they are not going to drop this week, but they're going to drop sometime after the Travis Scott release. And also with the Travis Scott release, there is pairs on back end right now on the Jordan 1 Travis Scott Olives. They're going from five women's all the way to 15 and a half women. So the biggest size is going to be a 14 in men's, which is a 15 women's. And the smaller size is going to be a five women's, which is a three and a half in men's. So that is going down with the Jordan 1 Travis Scott Olives. Again, it's going to be a very hard shoe to get and it's going to be a draw a Dan release. So guys, make sure you're prepared. It's going to be a 10 minute draw. So make sure you're prepared on that. But from what I'm hearing, again, from my sources, people that actually know what is going on, that's why I knew about the Jordan 4 Thunders that we're going to shock drop today. The Jordan 1 Lost and Founds is looking like it is going to come after the Jordan 1 Travis Scott release. It's not going to come this week, but if it does, again, Nike could change things right away. Nike could change things, and once they change things, I'm going to let you guys know if they change it. But what I'm hearing is going to be after the Jordan 1 Travis Scott Olive release, but I will keep you guys updated on these Jordan 1 Lost and Found. Because as you guys know, the resale price is really, really, really high on these. It's almost 500 bucks in my size. So the restock is going to be insane. And guys, if you thought the restock of the Jordan 4 Thunder was crazy imagine the restock on the Jordan 1 lost and found and you want to get in there really 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 quick and be able to cop your pairs the pending is going to be crazy on this restock so guys I'm going to prepare you guys again make sure you are subscribed to the channel hit your notification bells on because the Jordan 1 lost and founds are coming very 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 soon and I'm going to update you when they actually do go live on the shock drop, on the restock. And again, they haven't really even told us what they're gonna do with this release. If it's gonna be a shock drop, if it's gonna be a second chance, if it's just gonna be a regular release where they give us the date already and everything like that. There's a lot of different things about the Jordan Lost and Founds they haven't even determined yet. All that stuff will be revealed on back end. Because you gotta think about it, Nike has to put it in the system for it to actually get going. That's how I knew about the Jordan Thunders that were going live today and there was 160,000 pairs because Nike has to put it inside their system. Again, the technology today makes things easy for us to know when there's gonna be a shock drop, when they're gonna release, all those different things. But Nike sometimes kind of switches it like they did with the Jackie Robinson Dunks and the Orange Lobsters. I believe now Nike's just like, forget it. People that know all these different things, we're gonna just let them know. Because again, the technology is so, so, so good. And my sources said, these right here will be coming after the Travis Scott release. Again, still be prepared for this week if they do go live. I will let you guys know it. I cannot wait. I'm super excited for the shock drop that happened today and the next drop that we're going to get on the Jordan 1 Lost and Found. So guys, if you have any questions, any concerns, anything that you wanna know, make sure you hit the comment section below and let me know your questions. And man, today was a movie, the live. So many people were able to cop the Jordan 4 Thunders, one of the best shoes of 2024 in my opinion. It is gonna release May 13th and it will be a bunch of pairs, like I said. There will be exclusive access for Finish Line and JD Sports. There will be on the Foot Locker app. There will be, there'll be everywhere to be honest. It's a high stock item, but to get them early on a shock drop, you can't beat it. And again, Nike warned us that they were gonna do it about Team Early. And Nike, again, warned us that they are gonna restock on these very, very soon. I really appreciate you guys for watching the video, man. We just reached 50,000 subscribers. This could not happen without you guys, Snipe Gang. Again, I'm just gonna help you guys cop shoes for retail, keep you guys alert what is going on in the sneaker culture. I want everybody in Snipe Game to be prepared for this Jordan 1 lost and found restock. And you can tell right now, I'm super excited. I'm super pumped because the shock drop went live. People said I was capping. Who's capping? Who's capping? But appreciate you guys. You already know, man. Sniper Geeks out. Peace.